Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams and welcome to another edition of Inspiration Station. Today I'm excited to share a layout with you that I am creating using lots of circles. And as you can see here, I've got, I started a little bit ahead of time just to save a little bit of time and cut out a lot of circles. Just using, some of them I used my circle cutter and some of them I just used a dish or whatever was sitting by my desk. And then move it up so you can see a little bit. I hope you can see that I stitched around the edge of each of the circles with my sewing machine. I have chosen this um, orange stripe as my background. This is from the Simple Stories Let's Party collection. As, and as you can see, I used um, it to cut a couple of my circles out and I cut them right out of the middle of the page because I knew that I was going to cover that up. So instead of cutting them off the edge just to save more paper, I cut them right in the middle so that I could still use this as an entire 12 by 12 sheet. And this is what I'm going to cover it with. I have a piece of white cardstock that I just trimmed a little bit and I ran it through my sewing machine as well with some teal thread and just did a zigzag stitch down two sides of it. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that. And then the photos that I'm using today are photos of my nephew. And these, this is a little photo shoot, or these came from a little photo shoot that I did with him um, just after his first birthday. So those are the photos that I'm going to use. But before adhering them to the layout, I wanted to create a really big cluster of circles. And I'm just kind of placing these randomly, keeping in mind that I want my photos to go the, the bigger one right here and the smaller one right over here. So I'm just going to hold one circle down put a little bit of adhesive under it. Just work my way around the circles so that each one is adhered. And then I want to add just a little bit more pattern paper. I'm going to add these two strips, just really small strips of pattern paper, this of a stripes, just to keep, kind of make an, another border to keep your eye in the middle of the page. Okay, now I'm going to set my photos here. I'm not ready to adhere them quite yet. But I'm just going to set them right there while I do a little bit more embellishing. Now I have this number one die cut and I want to put it right there, but I want to add a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm going to add a couple of pop dots and then I have a few more stickers or a few more um, circles to add. And these are just, just came from the chipboard pack. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a liquid adhesive and just tuck that right there under that number one. And I'm using the liquid adhesive just to make sure that the chipboard stays in place. I think I'm going to add this green celebrate circle to this embellishment cluster down here, but I'm going to do so with a pop dot so that it pops up at the same level as that number one. And then I'm just going to adhere these other two circles, once again using liquid adhesive. And as you can see with these, these circles, I am creating a visual triangle around the page. So I've got the triangle shape starting over here and going up to the red chipboard and then coming down to the green. That's another way to keep the eye focused on the most important part of the layout, which to me is almost always the photos, especially when you have photos as cute as this little guy's. Now the title on this layout is pretty small. The title is just one year old, and I just used stickers from the Simple Stories Let's Party sticker sheet. And I've just put them on a piece of wax paper so I could see where I wanted to place them. 
And I think what I'm going to do is place them just right up against, up against the edge of this circle. Now we've got the title in place. I wanted to add a little bit more embellishment to each of these chipboard pieces to create a cluster. So I'm just going to add some enamel dots. And just kind of add them around each. Each chipboard piece, I'm just doing random colors, random sizes. And I'm going to add just a couple more so that there's five in this grouping since this is the most most prominent grouping. I think maybe just one teal one right down there. Now I want to make sure and add the date. So I'm just using an older Amy Tangerine date stamp. Just some plain black stamping ink and I want the date to go right here next to this photo. And just to finish things off, I was just I just want to add a few more circles. So just to each embellishment cluster, I'm gonna tuck that heart. Let's see, I think I'm gonna tuck it right in there. And then this teal circle be right there. I'll use the candles. I think I want it right there, but I'm going to put it under my photo. I don't want a sticker on top of my photo, so those candles just peeking out right there. Okay, and with that, I think I'm going to call this layout finished. I am going to add a little bit of journaling, just handwritten journaling right here in the yellow circle. And other than that, this page is finished. So thank you for stopping by the Scrapbook Expo blog or YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks.